Oh, howdy all. Grab yourselves a beer. It is time for some Path of Exile discussion. Uh, there were some changes made to the Heist League today, and these are really, really, really abusable. And what I want to do is demonstrate how to abuse the new changes to farm Blighted Maps and Delirium Orbs uh, from higher tier uh, contracts. So what we're going to be doing is essentially wasting contracts, uh, not attempting to complete the objective, and just intending to go in, be as safe as possible, and come out with as much loot as is reasonable. Uh, we're going to be targeting the contracts that require demolition as a skill. The reason we're doing that is that demolition contracts are linked to four different types of loot. Uh, there's generic items, so just the chest symbol. There's blight items, there's metamorph items, and delirium items. Metamorph items have been really disappointing so far in my experience. Not saying they can't be good, but I've never had any good ones. However, uh, the other ones can all be really good. So I'm just going to pick this one and go in there. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't really matter from, for purposes of what we're doing, which of the rogues you're using uh, from, a, from their abilities, uh, but what we want is one that has an ability that increases loot. So Vindiri the Dismantler is the choice. Uh, he does increase the alert level more, but that's manageable. So let's go in. We've wasted a bunch of coins on this, but the payoff will be worth it. If you're running out of, uh, of contracts or you're running out of coins, uh, the delve mines will drop a ridiculous amount. So having a quick look here, you can see that we've got a delirium chest and a delirium chest. Uh, those are the best ones, so we're going to go for them. And you just want to basically stay safe. Uh, this will be like a tier 12 white map in terms of difficulty until the alarm goes off, at which point it'll be miles harder. However, uh, we don't really care because the alarm doesn't need to go off for what we're doing. And now, there's been no alert, however, there is a bit of a bug with the display on the alert. Uh, if the alert shows zero after you've looted a chest, then that's a bug. So, let's detonate this. And this will cause the alert to go to about 35%. Uh, there'll also be a monster spawn. And we've picked up a delirium orb, which is exactly what we're here for. Uh, also a couple of cluster jewels, which have some potential. Don't know if they're any good or not yet. I'll assess those later. The main reason you're here, though, is delirium orbs. The other things you can get, there's uh, blighted maps, uh, if I'd had a blight, blight reward, which I don't. And we are going to leave before the alarm is triggered. I'm not really killing all that many monsters because there's just not that many reinforcements. So I'm not afraid on my way out of having real difficulty. Here's, a, uh, here's an alerted pack though, so I will take a bit more careful, care with them. You'll notice I'm not picking up the uh, minor chest yet. Uh, that's because what I'll do is I'll pick them up at the, at the end on my way out. So here's the second chest that we care about, second delirium rewards. Smash the demolition off. You can press V on those as well, which I probably should be doing. Now the reason this didn't work very well before the patch was that... Uh, Usually set, uh, picking your second one of these would set off the alert in the, in the compound. Whereas now with the patch, uh, two of them will be safe. And oh, have a look at that. Uh, at this point I've decided I'm just going to safely exit because I got such a mother load of loot there. Uh, you know, two, two blighted delirium orbs. That's uh, what I just looted there from that chest was almost an exalt. Uh, so I'm just going to safely get out. I'm not going to stuff around. I'll pick up loot on the way if it's uh, if it's really convenient. But to be honest, uh, maps are oh, map chests are fine, I guess. It's just that I'm in a I'm in a tier lower tier map, so they're not going to be red tier maps. Okay, and so at this point, uh, we're just safely walking out, and we're going to exit the zone. And oh, have a look! These are now permanently mine. Uh, so I just picked up six Delirium Orbs in there, uh, the two blighted ones were a jackpot, uh, and now we're just going to return to the Rogue Harbor, 
and that heist is finished. I think that was a pretty good use of 400 odd coins and one contract. Guess what? Time to run another one. So yeah, this is a really broken uh, thing that you can do now. It's something that was added in today's patch and ultimately I think it, it's bad for the health of the game and should probably go. Uh, it's way too powerful a use of these contracts and it gets, it gets around the fun, the exciting, difficult and fun part of these uh, encounters. Uh, but while it lasts, uh, I, I'm going to abuse it because it's definitely, well, it's the way that the game's set up at the moment. And here we've got a Blight and a, uh, and a Delirium. So we're going to go for both of those. Uh, being a tier 5 equivalent zone, uh, the... Oh, gee, those are hitting hard for a tier 5s. That's because I've got a rare with a nasty aura on it. Even if we do get a Blighted map, it's not going to be a high tier 1 from a, from a tier 5 equivalent zone. But it's still something that... Like, Blighted maps of low tier are fun to run. There's something that's really good. If you're trying to test out how you go against Blighted maps, uh, definitely pick up a couple of low tier ones and try them. And kaboom. We got, we got the rubbish. Blighted maps will, will oft, oh sorry, Blighted uh, chests will often be rubbish, but when they're not rubbish, they're really good. And for that matter, you can get higher tier oils in them as well. Uh, it's just a uh, veiled item. Veiled items are these, they drop a lot of them in here, and they are a substitute for if you don't want to unveil normally uh, through running betrayal missions, then this is an alternative to it. They are much better in monster level 81 and higher. Then you'll get the highest tier unveils, and those highest tier unveils will give you more experience for your crafts. Oh, there's a Diviner's Delirium Orb. Isn't this just ridiculous? Okay, well, at this point, uh, it's time to just slowly walk out. We haven't set the alarm off in the chamber, uh, whereas we would have before the patch. Uh, so at this point, we'll just take a slow meander through, uh, kill a few monsters on the way. Don't really need to kill everything, just enough to be safe. But if you want to kill everything, you can too. And let's try and figure out how that minimap is really awkward. And there we go, look even more, that's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 uh, Delirium Orbs, of which we have one, two, th oh, sorry, 1, 2, 3 Premium ones and 4 Lower Tier ones, uh, and there's a bunch of other stuff as well. As I say, this feels really broken and feels like it really should change. If you're doing this and you run out of coins, trade for them from other players. If you're doing this and you run out of the contracts, then go into the Delve Mines. And also, there, is a, there seems to be, and I haven't tested this firmly, but there seems to be a strong correlation between running higher tier, uh, higher tier contracts and getting more loot in them. So that's all I've got. Uh, feel free to exploit this until it's fixed. I think it really should be fixed, but ultimately, it's within the rules of the game.